Hey guys, welcome to another video. Thanks again for the last support on the on the last video that we put. I really appreciate that. Uh, yeah, so four days left before the guests arrive, and basically uh, this video is going to be about us just doing the last minute things that needs to be done in order for the, our house to be ready for them. Um, by the time you watch this, it'll be Sunday. And actually, Laura's a little nervous because, you know, she does all the editing. It's a lot of work. And uh, she's like, oh, let's postpone a week. So hopefully we won't get to do that. Uh, it's going to be more of raw footage. Okay, I just told her just kind of do a quick edit. Uh, I know you guys sometimes like to just tune in, see what's going on. And, uh, you know, I don't want to kind of miss a week because of you guys. Uh, but today, listen, beautiful. Woke up. First thing I do is always look up to see if the peak was uncovered, and it was. It's been covered the last couple of days. Had a bit of strong winds overnight, but now it's beautiful. It's like a summer day today, uh, March 17, 18 today. Um, and uh, as you can hear, the birds. Laura's been doing a lot of things today. Uh, laundry, she's been getting the beds ready, ironing, uh, a lot of that stuff. We actually just finished lunch. We had a nice little, I love the, uh, the Portuguese uh, tuna salad that we, that a lot of people like, you know, this, you know who you are uh, with the egg, the tuna, the parsley, the olive oil and all that stuff. Some nice boiled potatoes and we had that for lunch. I had a nice quinish, cold one. Laura's back at it. I, what I have been doing is I have to go buy some paint because there'll be some painting done here. We're going to touch up a lot of things before Sunday, uh, but I've been really working on this puzzle. It's the steps, and this time I'm doing another set of steps by myself. Uh, hopefully they'll turn out. I think they will. I mean, I paid attention to Charlie when we were doing it together. I'll show you where I'm at with it. Uh, let me just uh, turn the camera around. Oh, okay. Look at Zena. Quick hello, Zena. Huh? Are you lazy today? Yeah, you saying hello? That's Tola. Oh, Tola. Huh? <laughs> She's too much. All right, I gotta, I gotta go. All right. So, well, let's a quick see Laura. She's just Laura. Quick uh, wave at the fans here. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. So first, let me just show you the what today is like. All right. There's the blues that I. Uh, we fall in love with that I always remember. Here they are. Raw footage, no filters, and you know, your regular followers have seen this view many times. If you're watching this for the first time, well, you're seeing these views for the first time. This is the Atlantic Ocean. This is Pico Island, the village of São Mateus. Uh, don't forget, the Azores is one of the seventh regions of Portugal. All right, so let me show you these steps. You guys tell me what you think. I mean, first attempt at something like this, it's a, putting it together, it's like a puzzle, right? So, find the rocks, okay? If there's rocks built in, use them. So I'm just getting this ready to then, I'm using some gravel so to, to balance, you know, the, um, the rocks to make sure they're at more or less the same level. To, I actually, this is going to be funny, but I fell over there. I was clearing that, took a flip, couldn't get out because it's slanted, didn't have enough leverage, yelled for Laura about for about five minutes to help me up. No, so I had to eventually get myself up. So let me just actually, for some of you watching for the first time, I want to show you the view we got from up here. Um, this is also part of our property here is the chestnut tree got pineapples up here so Laura's been doing this path we're gonna put gravel on it just to make it easier to get up here but as you can see here so we love this proper love this property but love this area because you feel like you're right next to the ocean you're not you were, were one of the higher houses up in the village but it feels like you can just jump into the ocean it's we could hear it when the waves are you know kind of uh have some swell we can hear them pounding the coast and we just love the spot quiet bit of the countryside and the ocean you know we get both here all right so i'm gonna let you guys go go i gotta go back to work 
We'll just show you what we've been doing throughout the day. Today we're heading over to Laish to now move back. So then we have four days of just coming over and cleaning and setting everything up. And hopefully you guys stick around on this video till the end. See you soon. Okay guys, well, uh, I've been ironing and getting the bedrooms finished. And uh, Carlos has been busy out here getting these steps done in the back. And right now he's gonna mix some more cement. Yeah, sorry I didn't uh, hear you calling me when you fell down the hill. It's lucky you didn't hurt yourself. <laughs> uh, well, we're stuck in all that, that thorns, you know? Yeah, unfortunately I had the, uh, the washing machine going and the um, stove vent, so I couldn't hear them. <laughs> See these crevices? Yeah, so you have to go right inside those crevices there. Then you gotta go with your hand. Actually. And then I, huh? when, I have, when I have enough in there. Huh. This is what binds the rocks, right? Yeah. You gotta, get the, you you gotta, gotta fill in the cracks. Yeah. And then you get, I'll go with my hand. Yeah, this is good art for next time. Next time we need to do this, I think I can, I can do it. Yep. Yeah, so if you forget, you can uh, go back to the video. <laughs> so you go with your hands, kind of make the, because there's some deeper holes. I put gravel uh, in some of these and some smaller rocks. So Just to fill it in a bit? Yep. Okay. Or else you use more cement. Oh, that's great. See, it looks like it's, uh, then you got to wait till, see, there's a big hole there. So you can always go back and if there's extra holes, you can fill it in a bit more. All right, I gotta go check right, on go. Zena. She's crying. She always wants attention. Or if she can't see me, then she starts crying. <laughs> Hi, what you doing there, little monkey? Are you enjoying the shade and the sunshine? We are all packed up and on our way back to Lajish, our Lajish house, and look at the cows. <laughs> They're saying bon voyage. Uh, so yeah, we are heading back to our house in Lajish and um, Zena's here with us. I can't uh, point the camera here because she, it'll be on a diag. Can you say hi Zena? Hey? No, they can't. Hello, water. People must think we're crazy. But I think we are crazy. <laughs> no, I tell you, no, I think it's, uh, we're fortunate that we could have two great spots that we can call home here on the island. And now it's a lot of work, a lot of frustration, but uh, at the end of the day, we, I don't think we'll have it any other way. And um, yeah, I kind of miss Lush. Didn't yeah, you? I'm looking forward to getting back to our house there. It's such a difference, uh, different than San Mateo, it's just a different types of village. 20 minutes away, but completely different. And this is why I say it's fortunate on you know, the beautiful Isle of Lake Pico. Uh, you know, it's uh, uh, so we have a couple more months here. I'm gonna go home. I'm tired. My fingers are sore. My feet are sore. My back is sore. It's probably scratched from the fall I took. So uh, we're gonna kind of just relax tonight and get back at it again tomorrow. Yeah. But uh, right now we're gonna enjoy this beautiful drive that we used to do almost every day. We haven't done this drive as often. No. I hope you guys are enjoying the this video. Yeah, well, thanks for all your support. We'll see you in Lush. morning guys <laughs> well it's me getting up early this morning it's uh, 6 36 and the birds are chirping away and Zena wanted to go out early this morning <laughs> she is looking at all the birds yeah feeling a little bit nervous and excited for our guests to be coming on uh, Sunday uh, still a lot of little fix-ups not you know, just more decor things. 
but like Carlos says, there's no perfection. But uh, we're almost at the finish line, and it's hard to believe that we are at this point, but we're very happy. And it's gonna free up more time to really focus on more of the island, because as you know, most of our videos lately have been about uh, renovating the house, getting it finished, and so yeah, I'm really looking forward to walking more and hiking more and showing you guys more of this beautiful island. We'll see you guys back in Cemeteries. Hey guys, so we're back at the house here. We went to Lodges yesterday. We've been here for about three months. We've moved, just a quick recap, we've moved yesterday back, so we slept last night in Lash, and then we'll be coming back all week just to clean up and, fi and finish a few things that needs to be done. And uh, yeah, it's, a, it's non-stop. So um, anyways, thanks for hanging out, and uh, let's see how gorgeous today is. Oh, looks like Pico is still a bit uncovered. Uh, I'm gonna take you outside, I wanna see, uh, how well the the job I did on the steps turned out so it's lots of cleaning Laura's been doing some vacuuming she'll be working inside I'll be working mostly outside painting uh, giving a second coat to these walls but look at the day today Wow I've already seen around three four boats out there fishing today it's perfect yeah this is um, yeah so I'll be painting these walls here I gave a second coat, uh, sorry, I gave a first coat before I left in September. Uh, so I'm gonna do a second coat and I'm gonna go and finish this back wall all the way till where I, yeah, right until the, where the, you can see the bricks, the blocks. And then I'll, I'll be painting the other side. But looks like they've, they've binding pretty well here, yeah. So I'll, yeah, my, the most important thing here is not, I know, it's more that they are binding there. I'm also going to build a wall here just to, for extra support along the side here. I think it's going to be good, you know, for someone that's never done this before. And just uh, this is a, you know, compared to before, it's a lot easier to get up there to the upper part. And this wall, I'm going to give it a first coat to, as well today. I think it looks nicer. Even along here. But, uh, yeah, we gotta get to it. Oh. It's a lot of work, guys. It's a lot of work. But you know what? Makes it easier when you're painting and, and this is right in front of you. I think it just makes it a little bit more worth, worthwhile and you don't get as tired, you know. I think once in a while I'll take a break, look out there. And I just gotta give kudos to you guys that uh, are great workers and this is what you do for a living. Day in, day out. I know a lot of you enjoy it. It's a lot of work. Sometimes people make it look easy, but to do it right, make it look good you really have to know what you're doing i will try my best and uh, just go taking my time i think that uh, that's one part of it if i rush and then i'm going to look back and it's not going to be good but uh, thanks for hanging out a few more days of doing these kinds of things a little painting a little cleaning and uh, one phase of this adventure will, will be over anyways we're compiling before and after, and I think I've already looked back at some of the early days and it's like I shake my head basically. And uh, we've come a long way. <laughs> We're back in Lages now. So I was just thinking, I wasn't gonna film anything tonight, but uh, there's a lot of people that watch the videos for the first time and uh, they don't know what Lages is, what the village is all about. And I uh, thought, let's just show them, right? And this is the, our favorite time of the night. Yeah. We're actually really happy to be back in Lodge. Yeah.
and uh, although there's some work to be done here too <laughs> yeah we got work it's work everywhere but we got to find time to just relax and that's what we're doing having and, my glass of wine yeah and uh, I'm having a nice drink here I bought this uh, sort of like it's called uh, it's, uh, it's like a whiskey I guess Portuguese very good um, yeah it's I mean this this is uh, we, we're not gonna lie we're pretty sore we just, we're very sore. Yeah, every day we got a schedule, we got the list, and we just keep taking it off, right? So, so I was cleaning all day, cleaned all the bedrooms, top to bottom. Yeah. And <laughs> Carlos you, was painting. As you saw, and I still have to do a little bit more of that. But right now, we just, you know, it's coming back to Lash, relax. We're getting settled back in uh, because we do love both, both places. We're very fortunate that we can call both places home. And the third home will, is Canada, Canada, as you know. It's, uh, yes, and we'll be back there in about a month or so. May 2nd. I can't believe all this time has gone by. Wow. Well, it's, we'll, this time around, yeah, we were here for quite a while. Laura got her extension. And uh, I think we've been here. We'll be here a total of about five months. But we are, we miss people back in Canada. Our, my mom, my brothers. and We got lots of family, uh, Laura's brothers and Dads yeah, I've had a lot of family that have had birthdays, so yeah. I send them little like birthday sing singing yeah. messages. <laughs> yeah, I think they appreciate it. I, I, I don't really it's her singing. I just <laughs> you know, stay out of that. I'm more of a dancer. Anyways, listen, th thanks for hanging out. I mean we're gonna uh, I don't know what there's two more days. We might film a, a little bit more of what we're doing. Uh, but just to remind you guys, we will be doing a before and after basically the last two and a half years of taking this beautiful property uh, from the w where it was to where it is okay and the reason why we're not filming as we go along the um the, you know the, the end of it uh, the final uh, jobs we yes. have to do is because we want to we do want the uh, the guests to be the first ones to really see um, and we're so excited about them coming <laughs> yes we are yeah they, they're a great couple um, and I hope they, they're going to enjoy being here on Pico for, for the whole year. And uh, hopefully they're, um, you know, Pico does for them what it does for us, which is just brings us down to this level of just relaxation. Not 24-7 relaxation, but yeah, when, when well, we, we... We definitely don't have that. No, <laughs> but when, when we do cap, you know, catch ourselves and we put ourselves in a moment like right now, it makes it all worth it because the island, anywhere you go around these islands, all of the Azores, if you want to just bring it down a notch, it's up to you and you can do it. Anyways, let's just uh, show you Lash. And uh, for, the, for some of you that uh, don't really know it. Oh. Don't show your feet in the, in the <laughs> video. Sorry. You need so a okay. pedicure. <laughs> I do actually do. Yes, all the. See, so this is what. Uh, this is. Um, few drinks we're having for tonight but look see this is uh, over 500 year old village Laje, south coast of uh, Pico and this house is over 200 years old I was raised here my parents my father especially and yeah and from here you can see there's how close we are to the ocean I would say that this village is one of the top whale watching places in the world. I'll go on record, and I have before, and I'll do it again. But for now, we're going to leave you and uh, enjoy the evening, and I uh, hope to see you tomorrow. Ciao, guys. Dear guys, welcome to another day. Uh, we are heading into Madalena to pick up some extra things for the house, do a few errands, and we thought we would take you guys along with us. So we're going to show you cutting through across the mountain. Gives you a different perspective of the island, kind of cutting through these forests, and then you'll see Pico coming around the corner shortly. 
another beautiful morning. A little bit uh, cloudy, but I think the sun is going to show its face later on. So, yeah, there's the sun. Told you it would come out. Hopefully we can see Pico when we round the corner. Uh, with a little bit of the overcast, you might not, but hopefully. And soon the hydrangeas will be coming out. And they come out usually in June. Look at those pretty pink flowers. I don't know if those are actually a bougainvillea or a freesia, I'm not sure. Yes, unfortunately, can't see Pico, but maybe further down the road, the clouds part a little bit, we'll be able to get a glimpse, but not right now. Yeah, we'll see some of the other uh, landscapes, and then maybe we'll see Pico after. Uh, such a nice drive up here. might see some cows too. Well, I wouldn't say might. You always see cows up here. But sometimes they end up on the road or they're being herded to another field. It's low clouds, so it's light clouds. It kind of feels like we're driving through BC or even up north, just outside of Toronto. We're driving up to the cottage. Okay guys, we decided to just stop here is just to show you where St. George is, right across. You see that long island. So we came from over that way, from Lajes, and then we are heading towards Madalena down this long stretch of road. Okay guys, we made another stop because I wanted to show you where Fayel is. So straight ahead. So when you get down into Madalena, you'll have a clear picture of this island. Now remember when I was telling you guys about we might see cows? They're coming this way. <laughs> a little traffic jam here. I'm just going to stop and let them go by. And I think that they're following that truck. Yeah, see they're being herded to uh, another land so they can graze. We've got a few babies here too. Where do I, where do I go? No, just stay here. Yeah. Oh, did they get stuck? You can wait till they get close and then film. You said to keep going. No, no, he's stuck in the because he's just goes in front Aww. of the 
<laughs> okay, wait till they get close. Here they come. Look at that little, there's two little babies there. Ah, no, there's three. They know to go to the left, right? Uh oh. Careful. <laughs> Here we go. Hello, Mr. Cows. Hello. Hi. Bon dia. Bon dia. <laughs> Beautiful. Bon dia, little babies. <laughs> Gotta get some cows into the well, videos. We have a few stragglers here. <laughs> Always so fun to see. I see this every day and I never get tired of it. Guys, we stopped again because now you're gonna have a really clear view of Fayel. And down below, that's where Madalena is. Yeah, right down there. That's where you can get the ferry to go across to the island. You can hear the birds chirping. So nice. Guys, here's our first stop of the day. One of our errands. We have to pick up a couple of things here at Brico Dutra. This is like a Home Depot. <laughs> You can get everything here from tools to decor, paints, everything you need for renovations in your house. Hey guys, just finished a really good lunch here at Cafe Sink. What'd you think of it? It was delicious. I had a burger, as you saw. You had the, uh, the kebab. The kebab and with lettuce yeah. and oh, garlic sauce. Yes, but I, I actually left with a takeaway because it was so big. <laughs> yeah, we always, uh, it's one of the places we like to pop in, as you guys know, especially the regular followers. But uh, if you're around here for the first time, I would search this place out. There's quite a few. This is just one of them. So, yeah. Yeah. so now, we thought we'd better eat lunch because we still have a lot of work running to around to do here. Running in around, yeah, so, and yeah. work. And <laughs> work back at the house. i got to change into my work clothes when I get back. <laughs> Here we are in Homa again. It's almost like we're here every day. Yeah, that's a nice chair. No. Let's just get in and get out. A lot of new stuff. Usually at the middle of the month, they get all the new stuff in and a lot of nice stuff in. So I'm not going to keep filming. But if you need things here on the island, this is one of the go-to places. Okay, guys, we finally got out of Homa. We always think we're going to be like 15, 20 minutes at the most, but making these decisions, it's crazy. Uh, we're pressed for time, so we got to get going. Back in the car. It's actually really warm out. It's like 20. Yeah. 20. Summertime. All right, we got to get going, guys. It's like crunch time. We're, we're, getting, to, we're getting nervous. Where to next? The mental okay, institution? The next, yeah, that's the, the mental institution. Okay. Um, okay, now we have to go and pick up our... Prince. Prince, our friend Charlie, the artist that we showed you. We got some prints done uh, to put in the house. And we also have to go to the post office to get a new mailbox. Uh, a little bit of a traffic. Wake up! <laughs> okay, so gonna go get the prints. Mail box. Now the next stop is to pick up the prints. But if you're ever in need of the post office in Madalena, it's right here. It's called CTT. It's actually right across from the Vodafone. And, oh, the ferry is coming in from Fayel. Okay, let's go get the prints. Oh, yeah, we're going to show you uh, new mail. Yeah, it's actually a really nice space. This is where you would get your 
TV stuff. Yeah. Right here. Brand new. Okay. Yep. It's got all telephones. Very nice. All your high electronics, high tech. Okay, off to the print store. <laughs> We're just buzzing around town today. I don't know, are we going to get the painting done? <laughs> we are crazy. Yeah, so if you ever want any prints done, uh, you can come to this place called Photo Pico. They do everything to do with printing. T-shirts, cups, any marketing items, uh, pictures. So I'm going to show you Charlie's prints. These are for sale. Oh, there's a car here. There's Charlie. And... He paints all of these beautiful paintings and did these ones too. Look at this one. Isn't that gorgeous? So we got this print and a couple of other ones that are not showing here. All right, I'm gonna go inside and have a look at them. Oh wow, look at this. Okay, these are the prints that we did. This is outside of the museum in Lages. This is Fayal. This is Fayal. Wow. Beautiful. And, oh, look Lisbon. at this, Online. in Lisbon, beautiful, be nice in there. yeah. Okay, so we're back at the house and putting the final touches on this. It feels like we're part of a show, you know, everything, you got your timeline, but it always comes down to the crunch anyways. We're just putting the uh, final touches like pictures on the wall, or Laura's actually working on putting one of these beautiful Charlie paintings on on a frame and uh, I was working on the mailbox new mailbox but got two more days count on a few more things that we we try to think everything that uh, might have been missing here I mean we didn't we pretty much have had we're living here so we didn't find that we we're missing too much and uh, I think we we have it all hopefully another beautiful day here on Pico Take a close look at these some of these roses that just pop in and out out of the out of nowhere they just pop and bloom. Nice buds coming out. It's nice to stop and smell the roses once in a while. Anyways, this is what I've been doing. Putting up this we can find the keys for this mailbox. It's kind of old, but. It wasn't wasn't in too bad of a shape. We just, I just couldn't find the keys for it, so we had to go in and to the post office and buy another one. Actually, they had, the only color they had was gray, which is uh, matches our theme here. Just got to put our address in here, and it should be nice. Yeah, put it in there. Yeah, well, guys, well, I'm going to sign out here. There's not much more we're going to do today except the final touches inside. Tomorrow we are waking up early and I have to finish the painting. Today was just too much running around and the day just gets away from you. Just constant uh, stop here, stop there, but at least we got pretty much everything we needed. And then tomorrow we're going to get up early and I'm going to paint. I'm going to clean the rest of the house. And then uh, Saturday uh, I'm going to be doing some filming. I'm working on a couple of um, videos. Uh, one is for the workshop launch uh, that we've done and a few other things 
that we need to do in the house now that it's going to look nice and finished and then we just get ready for the guests to arrive on sunday and uh yeah so i'm going to sign out here hopefully you enjoyed hanging out with us uh this week just uh helping us get this place ready okay uh it's never going to be 100 percent ready there's always going to be things to do add new ideas uh there's still lots of work to do in the, in the grounds around which i'll we'll just tackle as we can and the guests did did offer you know they, they did mention that they don't mind rolling up their sleeves to help paint and uh weed and uh, we might take them up on it because you know they're here for a year and i think it's good to do stuff that to them i want this to be like their house and i think it's good if they're staying they got the they can just you know add any flowers you want transplanting whatever you want we're going to give them the you know uh, just the leeway to you know get in there with the soil and the land get a little dirty uh if they feel like it uh and uh yeah and i think the i was just wanted to get really uh integrated into the village life here on pico don't forget to like subscribe comment and share it really helps our youtube channel grow and if you like this kind of content uh for some of you that are watching this for the first time stick around once a week we put up raw and uh, transparent content just like it is as you can see behind me that is the real atlantic ocean and we are so glad that we are here and we could jump in there anytime we want guys see you next video